go around and visit the new wards in the intercentric just makes me feel really proud. The atmosphere has totally changed. The environment is brighter. We've got wider corridors. The service users love the bedroom, they love the ensuite facilities, they love the courtyard. It's had such a positive impact on the team and team morale. We love it. We love coming to Unity Centre. The Unity Centre is an £18 million investment by South West Yorkshire Partnership Trust to really improve the estate and improve the quality of the environment for our inpatient service users here on our Wakefield site at Field Hospital. So back in 2015 we started the business case for the Unity Centre and the replacement of the old awards. It had been the first time since the mid-90s that these units had had a significant amount of uh, investment in them. So prior to the Unity Centre we were in some much older units that had been converted um, so they weren't purpose built for, for mental health. We had shared bathrooms, we had shared toilets, there wasn't as much communal space so it very much felt like service users were on top of each other. It was very ad hoc, quite narrow corridors, there wasn't a lot of light and air, didn't have a lot of outside space and it wasn't as secure as it could have been. These buildings were becoming old and probably I would say overused really. The environment wasn't quite suitable for the service user. There was a fire on Trinity 2, quite substantial damage, the ward wasn't able to be used. When we heard that money had been set aside by the Trust to build the Unity Centre, both staff and service users were really excited about that. The first phase opened in September 2017 and was Walton PQ Ward and the Stanley Mail Acute Ward. They used a temporary entrance for a year whilst we then built the main entranceway to the Unity Centre and of course there's the Nostal Ward which is the new ladies acute 22 bed ward. Following that the Priory unit was then fully redeveloped and refurbished into the new Crofton Ward which is the new name for our old people's ward which is now fully en suite as well. Certainly for us before the Unity Centre were built the wards were kind of separated, certainly our ward weren't a part of it so it was quite isolated. Since it's been built and it's all joined together it's just a lot better resourced for, for staff and for service users as well. The corridors are lovely and bright. There's lots and lots of places for the patients to go and relax. This is a designated child visiting room. It feels just so much more modern than anywhere else we've been before. The whole building is much bigger. There is more space. We've got more therapy rooms like the group room, quiet room, which is quite significant to patients. We've tried to make the spaces much lighter, much more brightly coloured and one of the main criticisms of the old walls was quite often about the outside space which felt very institutionalised with the fence round it. The use of internal courtyards enables us to mean that there are no fences around so it feels a much more relaxed environment, much more bright and natural to be in. If you come to work and you care about your job then you want to provide absolutely everything you can and the environment is a massive part of that. It's really just boosted the sense of care that we're giving and that morale for team. So the £18 million that we've invested in the Unity Centre is just part of £38 million that we've invested in our estate across South and West Yorkshire over the last 10 years. I expect that over the future years it will really help support recovery and good care. So I expect good things to happen here at Unity Centre in the future. People come into mental health inpatient services sometimes at the worst point in their life. So anything we can do to make them feel supported, to make them feel valued, to make them feel included makes a huge difference. Having an environment that's appealing, that's aesthetically good, that's welcoming, that's warm, it makes such a huge difference to them and their recovery. It really does.